Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it really helped me out and where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so today we're talking Olaplex. Now, I've been on a bit of a journey with Olaplex since around December. I had my hair highlighted quite heavily. I really wanted a, a really intense transformation with my hair. Now, you may think, where on earth has it gone? It's in almost like in a wet sort of look back style today. And I've got it in sort of like a, a top knot sort of style here, but you can probably just see. The highlights are very kind of metallic-y, and um, you have, please have a look back through on my channel and my most recent clips on there. You'll see just how blonde and how highlighted my hair is, and of course it's grown out a lot now, but I've got that sort of regrowth line of my natural colour. But what I'm left with, of course, is how bleach does change your hair. Now, of course, you can get this back. You can get the control, the kind of the health back, and you can use products to really kind of revitalize and renew the hair. Absolutely, you can. But I think just as a real uh, kind of a realistic expectation, if you're looking at having your hair highlighted or using bleach on your hair, I always recommend going to see a professional because ultimately blonde, it is a premium service, I believe, whether you're a man or a woman, you have to use bleach. If you've got dark, if you've got dark hair like myself and you do have blonde put through your hair, it's going to have to go through a process which, no matter what products they use in that hairdresser's, that salon, whatever you want to call it, it will lead you a little bit of a sort of a, a little bit more of a higher maintenance sort of task at looking after your hair at home. So today we're going to be looking at an Olaplex product, but we are looking at the Hair Perfector number three, Olaplex. Okay. So if if you are wondering what Olaplex is all about, I am very new to Olaplex. Now, I have used the shampoo, the conditioner, and the bonding oil. I haven't got the bonding oil with me, okay, um, but I've got the shampoo and the conditioner, okay, and what I am just going to quickly run through and show you, I think that um, if you'd like to know more about the shampoo and conditioner, I'm trying to keep it separate because it would just run on and on and on on these clips with looking at the products, but I've used them this morning, so this is the Olaplex number four bond maintenance shampoo. Okay, I don't know if you can just see that because of the lighting here. And this is the number five bond maintenance conditioner. Okay, so both work in harmony. Okay, it rebuilding and revitalizing, repairing and nourishing the hair back to its former self, perhaps before you may have used that little bit too much heat on the hair, or perhaps you Maybe even if you're sat there and you've got a great colour, but it's ultra damaged. Perhaps the ends are really showing their wear. Um, and that's all from what you've chose to do with your hair. Do you know what? Instead of just cutting it off, really try and invest in products which look after your hair first of all. And over time, you can see the hair kind of rejuvenate itself, recover. It will never go back to its former self or like that you can have a like a fresh haircut. But you can certainly repair and you can certainly nourish. And you can improve hair so, so much by just using the right products. And you can be... You can, I'm actually surprised at how well some products can really turn the clock back on what you have done with your hair, whether it be heat, whether it be bleach, whether it be colour. So let's move into the product which we're talking about more today. So this is the Olaplex Hair Perfector. Now, I looked at this because I bought this as a gift set with the shampoo, the conditioner, the hair perfector and the bonding oil. Okay. And I thought, um, and I'll be quite honest with you, the reason why I haven't got the bonding oil is because I used it, um, I used it this morning and it's been such a rush today, the actual bottle starts to get quite greasy. Now, no matter how you wipe that off, okay, it's never the same as just putting it anywhere. And I've got quite an expensive desk in front of me and I do not want that stood on my desk. So call me whatever you want there, but I just don't really want it in here. It's in the bathroom now because the bottle, um, just tends to be a little bit sort of oily, not greasy, but kind of you wouldn't really want it on an expensive unit or anything like that at all or a desk. So please do forgive me for that. But have a look and I will attach it at the end. I've got the bonding oil uh, clip ready for you to view and take all of that in as well. Um, it is a product which I really, really like. I have to be honest with the Olaplex shampoo conditioner. I was really very unsure at first. Um, I think if you're just using, for example, the shampoo and then you use something else, it doesn't work like that. In fact, actually, I don't really think it's that great just on its own. However, use them together and you get that perfect harmony. The shampoo, the conditioner, okay, then the bonding oil. The hair perfector, slightly different. You use that before the shampoo, so it's that free treatment. It's that bond repairing treatment, first of all. Now, straight away, the hair perfector, it's different. It's absolutely different. And I hope this doesn't come across wrong, but it's a really 
almost like a, a real slimy, sleek texture straight away. As soon as you put that through damp hair, you can feel it almost bond to the hair immediately. It's a real strange kind of type product. And I have to admit, if your lengths are kind of dry, or you're finding that they're a little bit crispy, or you're finding that they could just do that intense nourishment, or that huge kind of overhaul, or if you're even thinking of just cutting the hair off, I absolutely urge you to try the Olaplex Number no. 3 Perfecta. Because this stuff, okay, you don't need loads of it. This is 100 mils, and you don't need to use it every day. I have used this. Um, I used it once this morning, okay, then about 10 days ago, I used it then. Then about a fortnight prior to that, I've used it then. So I've not used it loads. But what I have done when I do use it is I use the hair perfecter. Okay, then I'll leave that on for about 5-10 minutes, and then I use a shampoo, okay, so always concentrating on the scalp and then through the lengths of the hair, and then I'll leave the conditioner in for a couple of minutes, and then I use the bonding oil, which I believe is the number 7 bonding oil, and I use a couple of drops of that in my hands throughout the lengths of my hair. Now, that gives you the most intense Olaplex program, which I believe then puts your hair into a position where it is just really transformed. There's no other way of putting it out there. I think if I don't use all of that, I don't get the full effect of Olaplex. If I use a shampoo conditioner and the bonding oil, I do get a good effect. Okay, I do get a good effect and it's really great. However, I do think that for the cost, okay, because this is a premium high-end service product, don't forget. For the cost of just a shampoo conditioner and the bonding oil, I do think there are products out there cheaper, which give a similar effect, if not slightly better. However, the Olaplex is really transformative and it's a fantastic, fantastic product to use. It took me a fair few tries before me saying that, believe you me. I've even replied to people on my channel saying I don't really favour it that much. I'm not really a great fan, but however, that's kind of me one day perhaps using the Olaplex, then another day using the conditioner, and then just using the, the bonding oil in and out of when I, I felt like it, to be quite honest with you. When I actually use the shampoo and conditioner and the bonding oil together, huge, great transformative effect. Really renewing, really rebuilding, to be quite honest with you, the lengths of the blonde sort of texture of my hair. Going back to the hair perfecter, this stuff is really kind of different. Now, I can kind of relate to this product from a product which I absolutely love, which is the Elasticizer by Philip Kingsley. That is another pre-shampoo treatment. But talking about this one today by Olaplex, okay, so this here, I'm trying to sort of find a word, which it's kind of, the only way I can kind of really describe it is it's transforming and it is it's renewing it kind of gives you that renewal effect on the hair almost like that the hair is kind of i'm not going to say reborn because that's cheesy but it's almost like that it's kind of almost filling the hair cuticle with something to make it smooth and sleek now i'm hoping that that is super healthy and it's those products which aren't going to give you kind of like a build-up effect or anything like that at all I cannot comment on that because I simply cannot find the answer and I cannot find whether or not those sort of transformative effects are kind of something which would build up over time. I don't imagine they will because it's it's telling us only to use it once a week. I'm going to tell you a little bit about it on the back here. How to use, uh, so use before shampooing, not a conditioner, it's a bond builder. So bond builder, if you imagine cuticle of hair, okay, if you imagine small bonds in a line, for that to be perfectly polished, shiny, healthy hair, it has to be perfectly lined, smooth outer sides of the actual cuticle, amazing healthy hair. Once you start using heat on the hair, once you start bleaching, those bonds become separated, the outer core of the cuticle is rough, it's kind of damaged, it's going to be frizzy, it's going to be dry, it's going to be puffy. Have you ever had blonde highlighted hair and it tends to take on that characteristic of being puffy? This whole system is going to help with that because that is the one thing I hate when I have my hair highlighted. You pay out for that expensive treatment um, in the salon or the hairdressers of having an Olaplex service. You have that amazing colour. A couple of days later, it feels like rope. Great. This is going to stop all of those effects because I use this when I find my hair just really needs to kind of almost start again. I need to go back to number one, back to zero. I need kind of I need my hair to be kind of reborn again type thing. Pardon the puns, pardon the cheesiness, but this stuff does do it. It's the hair perfecter. It repairs and strengthens all hair types. Use once a week for damaged hair, it says use two to three times a week. I wouldn't. I'd think actually that for fine hair, that would be far too much. 
that would be far too much, I think. Once a week, I think, is sufficient. Um, and when you need it to be quite honest with you, it's used on damp, cow-dried hair. Apply a generous amount from scalp to ends until hair is thoroughly saturated. Now, I didn't really put this too much on my scalp because I thought that there was no need. Because your scalp, of course, is the hair. Hair from your scalp, of course, is the kind of almost virgin hair, isn't it? It's not touched. It's not with. It's not. Uh, it's not been heated. It's not been coloured. It's not been put through the effects of bleach. It may well be. And then, of course, use it through the scalp. But for me, for example, as you can see my natural roots here, you can see the highlighted bits right here. It doesn't look, my hair, look like my hair is very blonde at the moment. But have a look back. I urge you on my previous clips because it is really quite blonde. And this works amazingly on the lengths of that. Really, again, transforming, renewing, all of those great things. OK, so it's leave on for a minimum of 10 minutes, longer if desired. So I left this on. How long did I leave this on for? I've left it on for about 10 minutes before five minutes and I think a bit longer than that and that was enough for me. Bear in mind I've got fine textured hair but I've got lots of it um, so that could have something to do with it as well. Um, rinse from hair for best results shampoo with Olaplex number four which is this one here, I don't know if you can see, this one here, okay, and then condition with Olaplex number five which is this one here, okay, and I'm holding it back because I'm not, I'm not a genius with the lighting at all, I'm still trying to explore all of this with the lighting, hopefully it's good, hopefully you're enjoying the clip so far. Um, okay, so it says, warning here, avoid contact with eyes, not suitable for under three. Okay, I think that would be pretty self-explanatory. But, of course, if you're using one of these high-end top products, you should not need to touch children's hair. Children's hair, beautiful, untouched children's hair. I have nieces, nephews who have incredible, incredible hair. I wouldn't dare put anything like this on their hair at all. Why would you at the end of the day? Um, but for bleached hair, for adults, men, women, for bleached hair, coloured hair, heated hair, whatever, this hair perfecter, if you're looking for something to try now for, I think it was 200 mils, 250 mils, it was 20 pounds. This is only 100 mils. And this has lasted me a long time. And I've still got about half a bottle in here as well. So, do you know, I know I haven't used the hair perfecter many times, but for a treatment or for the lengths and ends of my hair, it lasts. Even the shampoo and conditioner, I've still got little bits of this left. And I've had this, as I say, since December. And I've used it twice, maybe three times, um, kind of in a week. Then I have used it for about... Recently, I've used it for, what have I used it for? Um, my memory serves me correctly, over about a week, only small amounts. So I've got not very much of that left at all. Um, in between that, I may have used a different quite type of product. I can't quite remember at the moment, but I've used it for long enough to be able to feel the effects of using it all together, that cumulative effect, that really kind of bonding to the hair type effect without sounding cheesy on that. Um, but the hair perfecter, yeah, this stuff is pretty damn incredible. And when you're washing it off afterwards, before you then put the shampoo in, you can feel that it's really bonding to the hair, which of course gives you confidence to know that it's actually working. So it's really, really great. Um, I'm just going to go through, see if there's anything in here I want to make you aware of. I don't think there's anything in here which I really want to kind of shout out about. The only kind of thing I would kind of like to mention is you can kind of see from some of the ingredients in the bottom here that there's jojoba seed oil in here. We've got aloe vera uh, leaf juice in here. So there's a few sort of natural products in here as well, which sometimes surprises you. When you think Olaplex, you think really sciencey, really over the top. But when you see ingredients like that in there as well, it really does kind of make you wonder and actually think, yeah, that's why, that why learn to speak properly. That's why you have got that reputation, that brand name, that kind of confidence in the industry. Um, so yeah, Olaplex, great, absolutely. It's been great for my hair, it really has. Um, so I want to say I've used a shampoo and conditioner recently for probably about just over a week, perhaps one day minus using it. Um, and then prior to that, not this bearing in mind, you don't use the hair perfector every day. I've only used this about three, three times. Once I've used this this morning, um, then, about, then about a week ago. So yeah, absolutely great system to use. The bonding oil to finish everything off, it's really great for smoothing, really great for kind of uniforming, calming frizz down, heat protection on the hair, really, really great. So at the moment, bonding oil number seven, yes. Shampoo number four, yes. If use of the conditioner and bonding oil. Conditioning, uh, conditioner number five, yes. If, if use of the shampoo and the bonding oil. Hair Perfecta, I'd buy this on its own. Out of all the Olaplex products I've used, I would buy this on its own and use it. This is the Hair Perfecta number three, because I absolutely really, really love this product. And you don't need to use it often, which is great. And the effect does last. Whereas I do find sometimes with the bonding oil, the effect of that can actually be, I find, washed out. Use them all together, they kind of bind and use that kind of 
bonding process, I believe, amazingly really, really well. Um, the hair perfecta works for it on its own. All of them together, brilliant. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this. If you do have any questions at all for me, because I appreciate Olaplex is kind of a huge topic. So if you do have any questions for me, regardless, I will try my best to answer them. And as ever, I always answer them honestly. So if I don't know the answer to the question, I will try to point you in the right direction. Um, and I will use my kind of experience, my kind of view on my experience with them. And yeah, I will get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you very, very much for joining me. It means the world to me that you have done so. Um, and until next time, I will be bringing you something new, something different, perhaps we come away from Olaplex now and we will try something else. But in the meantime, take great care and it's been great having your company here and I will see you real soon. Bye for now.